uh, several other nursing homes in okay. the area, and we're still trying to figure out how to do it. Okay. Because one of the main problems is, Spicer, right, so they don't have a 501 in some of these nursing homes. Mm -hmm. Like Deer's Head has a separate mm -hmm. organization of 501, mm -hmm. but not all of them do. Yeah. And some of them are profit making and haven't come to that point yet where they have uh, a nonprofit wing mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to get donations mm -hmm. and f grants and things. Mm -hmm. But we're getting ready, and I think you. But if you be had a volunteer, if there was a volunteer and wanted to contribute their time and set it up and all, the, we could I, do it. They could do it. So, so, so neat. All right. So, so. Everybody's real happy about it. It's just. Yeah. And you've done some other things with the, with the Spirit of Esther Fund, too. Oh, yeah. Well, I represent Spirit of Esther Fund everywhere I go, basically. Okay, because we want to talk about that. I, you know, I want to talk about, uh, in essence, your spirit of philanthropy, what have yes. you. And the, you've got Share the Smile. Is that what you've got on mm -hmm. the back of your card? Yeah, Share a Smile. Share a Smile. Okay. I want to make sure I got that quote correct. Okay. All right, we're rolling whenever is that, we're well, is that your card? Let me have your card. On the end, on the I'll back, give, I'll give it's, it back um, to you. I have another one. Oh, okay. On the back also is my mother. Yes. Okay. And your logo. Yeah. Okay. We ready? We're ready. We're ready. We're ready. I think. Let me get my pen here. Get, let me get the time right. Okay. Uh, and now I'm putting a, a plug in for another project we have coming up at the beginning. So I'll do that first. Okay. Welcome to Community Foundation Spotlight. I'm Spicer Bell. I'm the president of the Community Foundation of the Eastern Shore. And through this series of programs, we try to shine that spotlight on organizations and individuals who are making a real difference in our community. But first, I want to give you an opportunity to get involved. Uh, on April the 14th, that's a Saturday, uh, the Community Foundation and several other organizations along with the Shore Can or, or Volunteer Center are sponsoring the Able to Work Youth Service Day. And uh, we're going to assemble, uh, we hope, over 100 volunteers that morning uh, to do landscape and beautification projects at the Salisbury Zoo, as well as uh, spring cleanup and spruce up projects at the Ben's Red spring Swings Playground in, in the Salisbury Park. And if you are willing to donate a little bit of your time, come out and meet some great people, enjoy a picnic lunch, Call the Community Foundation of the Eastern Shore at 410-742-9911 or go on the shorecan.org website and sign up for Able to Work Global Youth Service Day on April the 14th. And now our interview. My guest today is Carol Steffi. And uh, Carol is uh, representing the spirit of Esther Fun. Uh, uh, and and I had a chance to get to know Carol through her work at the Community Foundation. Carol, welcome. Thank you, Dr. Bell. <laughs> you sound very formal there. Yes. Uh, Carol, uh, I think yours is a wonderful story. Carol's is a story of philanthropy mm -hmm. and, and uh, I, I guess a philanthropic journey that yes. your mother got you started on and that you are continuing. What's the spirit of Esther Fund? The spirit of Esther Fund, I'll start with the name. Okay. It's named for my mother. And uh, my mother passed away about two years ago. And fortunately, she was able to leave some money. I, d I wanted to do something special to honor her spirit and her legacy. And, and what she taught us, what we all learned from her and her family. So I came to the Community Foundation because I'd heard about you. And I knew that uh, the Community Foundation would help me get this fund started. And they did. <laughs> so, but the spirit of Esther is the name of the fund to honor her. And what the fund does is support, encourage, and in some cases make many grants to people to uh, encourage them to go visit and volunteer in nursing homes. Mm -hmm. and, and how did you get started with that? It goes back a long way with my mother's <laughs> family about the phil philanthropy, mm -hmm. uh, the idea of giving back to the community. My mother was the youngest of 12 children. Mm. Oh, my. I know. <laughs> <laughs> 
I can't imagine that <laughs> in a small house in, mm. the, in Western Maryland. Mm. Uh, she was the youngest of 12 children, and uh, times were bad. You know, she grew up, and her family did, during the Depression. But they always had something cooking on the stove. It was a practice among that family, the Sinnott family, the S-I-N-N-O-T-T, -T, Irish family okay. <laughs> for today, uh, to give back to and share. So what had happened up in that community was there was a train track, train rail track going through the town, and apparently all of the itinerant workers, the guys who had lost their jobs, you know, and who were just riding around the country looking for something mm -hmm. to do. And they used to ride the rails back then. They rode the rails, yeah. and my uh, mother's family lived right next to the railroad track. And apparently what the fellows did was to mark the gates that there was um, uh, a meal available at that particular place. So the guys would go to the back gate and rattle the back gate, and my grandmother would go out with a plate of food or a, a pot of food and sh share it mm -hmm. with them. Well, eventually, my mother's family moved to Baltimore, but they didn't stop sharing. They always supported people in the family and outside the family. When I used to go there for Sunday dinners after church, there was always someone extra there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It might have been a distant family relative. It was someone who was a neighbor. It was a friend of a friend of a friend. And things were just put out on the table, and you ate what you needed and had a good time, and everybody shared. So that was the legacy of my mother's family, to always share. Mm -hmm. Then she carried it further herself. When she was an adult, she made sure that people that she knew who were sick or shut in or who were in a nursing home, that they had a visitor. Mm -hmm. And she was their visitor. Mm -hmm. So she made sure that people were tended to with a friendly visit, a card, something mm -hmm. to brighten their day. Yeah, and it's amazing, you know, they're small things, but the impact that can have for that individual, particularly someone who's a shut-in in some way. Absolutely. And yeah. so there were, that was the philosophy, to give mm -hmm. back to the community, okay. to share. Uh, whatever they had, mm -hmm. and as you know, if you were the youngest of 12 children and you were growing up in the Depression, I'm sure our viewers can relate mm -hmm. to that. There wasn't a whole lot, but what you had, you were willing to. So, so you took part of an inheritance from yes. your mom. You mm -hmm. brought it to Community Foundation. Yeah. You established the Spirit of Vester Fund yes. in her memory. Other folks have now contributed to that. Yes. <laughs> And, uh, and, and you use that primarily to encourage folks to be visitors at nursing homes. And that is the primary, the primary purpose primary focus. of it. So now, I, I, this is, I guess, a, somewhat of a self-serving question. How has the Community Foundation helped you with that? Well, when I first went over to ask about, you know, how to do this and what to do, uh, uh, B.J. Summers was uh, your representative, and she and I had a chat about what my mother meant to me, what kinds of legacy did I want to share with the community, how did I want to give back, and how would that work? And so what we came up with, with her help, was a donor-advised fund. So I contributed the money that was part of my mother's inher inherited from her, and you all set up the fund and you all manage it. And so the money is available to give many grants mm -hmm. to local organizations who are involved with visiting and volunteering in nursing homes. Okay. And you set a great example because you do that yourself. I'm okay. a volunteer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And where do you volunteer? I volunteer at Deer, Deer's Head right now. Um, there are plenty of other nursing homes mm -hmm. in the area that I'm uh, contacting and in various stages of contact to try to start programs with them for the care cart. The care cart program is a um, granted project from the Spirit of Esther. In other words, the Spirit of Esther made a grant to um, a nursing home, a local nursing home, it was Deer's Head, mm -hmm. to specifically start a care cart 
What is a care card? <laughs> yes, that's that, that's and 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 we're gonna we're gonna illustrate. I think we have a couple of photos. Our friends here at Pack oh, okay. Fourteen are gonna show on the air because there's there's I know there's at least one great photo with of of you with your care card. But yeah, paint that verbal picture of what the care card is. The verbal picture is a means by which uh, a volunteer can come into the nursing home, take the card around onto the patient units and share the items that are on the cart. The cart uh, items, anything that's on the cart, including little stuffed animals, mm -hmm. <laughs> are already paid for or donated. So nothing is um, charged to the resident. Mm -hmm. All of these items are free to the residents and patients of that nursing home. Right now it's Deer's Head. Mm -hmm. So the residents can choose what they like. Usually we have uh, stuffed animals and they go first. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We have uh, decorations, um, uh, cards that we can help address mm -hmm. if people are not able to write anymore. Last time we went around with the care cart, uh, there was a card, a deck of cards, and they were uh, flags. We happened to be visiting with a veteran, mm. a Marine, who to him that was a very special deck of cards. And we had a small flag that was on the care cart. So we were able to share that deck of cards mm -hmm. with him and put up a flag for him. That was the most important thing to him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Usually people want socks. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> sure. In nursing home life, uh, socks um, are eaten by washing machines. Uh. So some people always need socks. We always have socks on the care cart and they are always a popular item. Simple, inexpensive Simple. things for us, but things that can really brighten the, the right. life. But, mm -hmm. but, but they do something else. They do something else. They become that connection between the, that person and the volunteer, don't they? Yes, it is the connection. And uh, it really is not about the socks or the stuffed animal or the deck of cards. What it's really about is that the volunteer has shared themselves with another person. There has been a human connection made. Everyone wants attention. So when the volunteer goes with the cart and makes that human connection with that resident of a nursing home, they feel valued. When people are, feel valued and feel important and they feel like they matter to someone, their mood is elevated and miracle of all miracles, they respond better to medical treatment, rehab, and being in a nursing home. Mm -hmm. You've made their day. Shared a smile. Yeah, shared a smile. Yeah. <laughs> made their day. Yeah, I, yeah it, it's, uh, and, and I've, I've in, in interacting with volunteers, sometimes volunteers are uncomfortable they say, well, I, I wouldn't know how to volunteer right. in a nursing home, mm -hmm. or, or I'm uncomfortable among older people or, or people who are convalescing. But th th I think the thing that you've illustrated and that you've discovered with your cart is the cart then becomes the connection. Yes. So right. you don't, no one has to have any special talent to go right. visit and volunteer in a nursing home. All you need is yourself. You're the gift. Mm -hmm. But the cart, because of the way it's decorated and all the things are piled on it, uh, all of the residents in a nursing home notice it right away mm -hmm. and they congregate around the cart. So the cart is the connection, but you are the gift. So I have mentored and trained um, many people who have come through to use the care cart. And they have all different ages, all different genders. They feel immediately comfortable using the care cart mm -hmm. because they don't even have to know anyone. Yeah. They can just take the cart and believe me, you will know the other residents <laughs> right away. <laughs> they will come to you. Yeah. So it's, it's really um, an enlightening kind of experience for people that um, these simple things, socks, a deck of cards, uh, a calendar, mm -hmm. can make such a huge impact. I think one of the photos I saw, you had balloons. We had uh, balloons. Balloons at one time. And, uh, and, and these are things that, in some cases, 
the, organ the sponsor or your grants buy, yes. but in other cases they're donated, right? Yes. So. And I've got to give a shout out for donations to the people in Salisbury who I meet everywhere and say to me, I saw you, I saw your article, uh, I saw you in the paper, and I have some stuffed animals in my car. Let me go get them for you. Mm -hmm. And they bring me a, uh, a bag of stuffed animals. My brother called me last week from Richmond where he lives. This is my twin. And um, he said, I'm at Cole's. Shout out for Cole's. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at Cole's and they're having a t-shirt sale. I think they're about $2 a piece. Do you need any for the care cart? And so he bought all kinds of t-shirts for the care cart. T-shirts are very popular on the care cart. People use them for over their shirts and under their shirts and for sleeping. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they like to have something different to wear. Sure. They're just like the rest of us. They want something different to wear, mm -hmm. something bright, something cheerful. So my brother has bought all the t-shirts, and we will have a new supply of t-shirts on the care cart. Now, that's a good place to, to, to pause here, Carol. We're talking to Carol Staffing, and Carol is just a, a wonderful example of, of someone, a, a, a philanthropy, of someone taking an idea and nurturing it into something that is really having an impact. But if somebody's out there watching and they would like to donate something for the care cart, how do they get in touch with you? They can call me at 410-543-2119. Okay. I am also on Facebook okay. under Carol Steffi, <laughs> and I think it would be certainly okay to call Community Foundation. It would be. It would be. <laughs> and and if, 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 if it's not objects they want to donate, if, they, if this idea intrigues them, they can donate to the Spirit of F Esther Fund. It's an open fund at the Community Foundation. It's an open fund at the Community Foundation, and recently, um, my brother's lady <laughs> sent me a check for the Spirit of Esther. She donated to the Spirit of Esther in honor of my brother for Valentine's Day. Wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> she said it was easier to send that check than it was to figure out what to get for him. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, you know, we are all in a situation, or many of us are in a situation, Carol, where, where we don't need... And the people we're giving to don't need a lot of the stuff right. that we buy them. But, but giving in their honor uh, mm -hmm. and helping someone else is, is, is a wonderful gift. It's a gift that keeps giving, uh, really. So, so It really is. Uh, it's, it's a miracle to me to see how people have responded to this. I went to a reunion recently of my school of nursing in Baltimore. And... Um, I was talking about the Spirit of Esther and what we were doing, and one of the many grants that Spirit of Esther has given is to the Pets on Wheels, mm -hmm. because Pets on Wheels has a nursing home visitation program. Mm -hmm. So in response to that, totally, I was not expecting it, um, several people in my reunion group sent a check for the Spirit of Esther to support the Pets on Wheels, mm -hmm. and they also sent a check to Pets on Wheels. Yeah, and we've had Pat, Bev Horner representing yes. Pets on Wheels here on this show, and you mentioned B.J. Summers mm -hmm. in, in, in my office, and B.J. and her dog, Toby, visit nursing homes. Yes, they do. They're, they're part of the Pets on, on Wheels program, uh, and, and uh, I've not been with them, but uh, for those who don't know Toby, Toby is this big, shaggy, Dog, who, doggy, <laughs> yeah. But uh, they, they've shared with me some of the experiences of, of the way people respond when when Toby just comes in, and he's t big enough, he can just he can just stick his muzzle, sit it right up there on the, on the side of the bed, and and how that how people love to just just pet him and how he responds and uh, what a warm feeling it creates for everybody involved. Pets are wonderful in nursing homes. My mother spent the last year of her life in a nursing home. And what she wanted most was visitors. And so we tried to do as much visiting as we could. But in the meantime, there were pets there. Pets on Wheels came in in that area. Plus, they had bunnies living in the nursing home. Really? <laughs> yeah. So, you know, my mother's experience uh, for living for a year in a nursing home, and she needed that care. She needed that 24-7 
safety nursing care. Mm -hmm. And her experience uh, also guided me to do a program, um, establish a fund to help people in nursing homes. But I've been involved in nursing homes for many, mm -hmm. many years. It's not new to me. Yeah. And, you know, I'm a nursing home administrator, although I don't practice that mm -hmm. way anymore. And I'm a psychotherapist, and I go to nursing mm -hmm. homes for professional reasons, too. But nursing homes, um, they've always had a place in my heart. Mm -hmm. Sure, sure. It's a special place for me. Yeah, so uh, you're watching Community Foundation Spotlight. I'm Spicer Bell. I'm the president of the Community Foundation of the Eastern Shore. And uh, today we're talking about a wonderful journey in philanthropy with, uh, with Carol Steffi. And we're talking about the Spirit of Eth Esther Fund, which is a fund at the Community Foundation that Carol established uh, almost two years ago mm -hmm. and some of the work she's done with the Spirit of Esther Fund. Uh, you talked about nursing homes, volunteering in nursing homes, pets on wheels. Do volunteers need any special talent or training? No, they don't. Uh, all they need to do is be willing to come in. And I'll tell you something else. It doesn't even have to be a long visit. Most of the time when I take the care cart around, I spend uh, half an hour to 45 minutes. But there are other times when people can go in for just mm -hmm. a very short visit of 10 minutes. You'd be surprised what a difference it makes to someone to have, for a resident of a nursing home, to have a visitor pay attention to them, mm -hmm. recognize who they are, touch their shoulder, share a smile with them. Mm -hmm. As you said earlier, it makes their day. Mm -hmm. No, uh, you don't have to have any special talent. You don't even have to be any special age <laughs> to go in and visit. Volunteering is a, um, more of a formal event, and for volunteering people, uh, will need to go through a process with that nursing home to be a, an official volunteer. Mm -hmm. To visit requires no special process. Uh, visiting, I recommend, and I'm sure that most of us know someone who is in a nursing home. Mm -hmm. If we don't know them personally, then someone else we know knows them. So there's always a connection with a nursing home mm -hmm. and a person who is there. Just go in and visit them for five minutes. Take a little bunny. And you can buy these little stuffed animals at one of the dollar stores for a dollar. Mm -hmm. You'd be surprised how much joy this brings. And I'm telling you to the men, too, Spicer. <laughs> the men, too. It, I, it looks very cuddly. I, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Let me. Here you go. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> it's nice and It stuff. is. It is. Uh, we, we keep uh, some of these things around for the grandchildren and mm -hmm. what have you. And, and they are nice. It's, it's just nice to hold it and stroke it and whatever. I'll give it back before I embarrass myself here. But, well, uh, the interesting thing is almost everyone will take one of these and go like this. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I used to visit someone in a nursing home who um, was an elderly gentleman, and he wasn't, he, he wasn't used to having people around. He didn't feel good. Mm -hmm. And he acted pretty much like he didn't want to talk to me. And one day I had a, a doggy with me, a stuffed dog, and he looked at it and he said, is that for me? And I said, of course. And he took the dog and he said, hi, hi, and put it up on his shoulder. And he kept that dog the rest of the time that I was there. Eventually, every time I went to that nursing home, he wanted me to bring him another dog. No, oh, no. <laughs> so... He passed away about nine months later, and on his windowsill were all these little dogs lined up, mm -hmm. and he had named every one of them. Mm. After that, whenever I came down the hall, he was all, hi, how are you doing? You know, and he got a lot of joy and a lot of mm -hmm. pleasure out of mm -hmm. a really relatively brief visit. Sure, sure. And that made his five minutes of wonderful. Mm -hmm. For him, it was five minutes of wonderful. Five you know minutes what? of wonderful. That's a, that's a nice thought. It was we, five minutes of wonderful we, for me. We can all we can always use a five minutes of wonderful in our day. And the free, easy way to do that mm -hmm. is to share a smile. So if if we share smiles with each other, we're going to have five minutes mm -hmm. of wonderful, mm -hmm. no matter where we are. And most of, most of the nursing homes in the area have some type of volunteer program. Don't yes, they? they do. So, and so, they'd so be you happy. can kind of pick your make take your pick. Uh, there are many nursing homes on the Eastern Shore. I actually have been in most of them. And uh, they are all welcoming for volunteers. All you need to do is 
give them a call in your area. Mm -hmm. If you'd still like to have some idea about what to do in a nursing home or who to contact, you can certainly call me. I'm available actually for mentoring mm -hmm. and helping people get through that process if they would like to. If, if there's a, somebody affiliated with a nursing home, mm -hmm. if there's somebody that's interested in volunteering and they would like to start their own care cart program, could you help them? Oh, help is on the way. <laughs> I have the first buddy for you. <laughs> so, so. And they might even qualify for a grant from the Spirit of Esther Fund. Very likely because the, uh, the care cart that's operating at Deer's Head, as I said, is funded through a mini grant from the Spirit of Esther. Mm -hmm. Sure. So, and you'd love to s spread the word, as would we. You know, I, 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 sure I think it, it's, it's, it's a project that is well worth uh, repeating in other settings and, and what have you. Um, any, partic any other particular success stories from the care cart? You told us about the veteran with the flags and right, that. Right. Any others that, that come to mind? We uh, had a lady who was um, a resident and um, she actually agreed to be part of an interview that was done by the Salisbury Daily Times. Mm -hmm. uh, she had a um, we gave her a, a pink poodle. Okay. <laughs> and every time uh, the, after that the care cart came up onto the unit, she would grab the new volunteer and say, come see my pink poodle that I got <laughs> from the care cart. Mm -hmm. There was another gentleman who's, who's um, pretty much isolated in his room for various reasons. And uh, he made a request for a... Um, green and yellow dragon, a stuffed dragon. Mm. Mm -hmm. He uh, liked um, that kind of medieval, you know, Dungeons and Dragons mm -hmm. kinds of things. And I thought, oh my gosh, how am I ever going to find this? Well, I found it. Mm -hmm. And so another volunteer and myself hid, hid it behind our backs and walked in and he was looking at us and I said, we have something for you. Whipped it out and he was just so delighted. Oh, good for he him. He was good so happy. Okay. Just delighted. So, yeah, we take special requests. Good. I, I, Carol, I, you have uh, Spirit of Esther cards, mm -hmm. personal cards that you use, business cards. But uh, a, a wonderful photo of your, your mom yes. on there. And, but uh, it, 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 it's a Spirit of Esther parenthesis, share the smile. Tell, tell the origin of that as we the wrap up. The origin of that is that um, my mother had a really wonderful smile, as you, can, mm -hmm. as you can see. She had a wonderful smile. And in her later years, she had Parkinson's disease. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that happened as a result of the Parkinson's was that she was having trouble talking. Mm -hmm. So even if she couldn't talk, she could flash you okay. <laughs> a smile. Great. The other thing that happened uh, was that smiles became so precious to us because as her, as her um, Parkinson's disease progressed, her face became less mobile, so mm. she couldn't really express her feelings. So smiling was, was a way to communicate so many different emotions. The other thing about sharing a smile is that it's free. As I said earlier, anybody can go into a nursing home and share a smile. You don't need to bring anything except yourself. You're the gift. Yeah, great. Carol, a wonderful story. Uh, you know, all of us at the Community Foundation have been delighted to work with you and, and see the success of your efforts and continue your mother's memory uh, you. in this way. And, and, and that's very much what we are about. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, we, we, we just applaud your efforts and want to see you continue that. And it's great to be able to share this with the community because we're just liable to find somebody who's watching this program who so. will support your efforts or maybe take it uh, to a new nursing home. And uh, we, we, we would love over time to see care carts in all the nursing homes for the whole area. Wouldn't that be a lovely legacy? It would be. We thank you for watching Community Foundation Spotlight, for visiting with Carol and I today. And once again, we urge you to get out and volunteer yourself. Uh, there's going to be a wonderful spring day coming up, April the 14th, where we're participating in the, in the uh, Able to Work Global, it's a mouthful, Able to Work Global Youth Service Day projects at the Salisbury 
Zoo and Red Band Red Swings. That's on Saturday, April the 14th. Opportunity for everyone to come out. Uh, young, old, family, great opportunity. Bring your whole family and we'll have projects that you can work on that day to do beautification at the park, some spring cleanup at Ben's Red Swings, enjoy a picnic lunch with all of us, and you'll be able to look back and say you've done something great for our community. Volunteering really does make a difference. If you're at all interested, call the Community Foundation at 410-742-9911 or go to our volunteer website at SureCan, www.SureCan, that's S-H-O-R-E-C-A-N.org, and sign up for, uh, for the beautification project at the zoo. Carol, thanks for visiting with us. Thank you for having me here. And thank you for watching PAC-14 and joining us on Community Foundation Spotlight. Time all right? Yeah. Okay. It's like a minute short, so you're fine. Oh, okay. With the, with the opening and closing. Okay. Did they show the pictures? Uh, yeah, it wouldn't show there. He'll he'll put them. You'll put those oh. pictures in the background of our. Of right, so, I'll fade them in as you're talking. Yeah, they'll just appear oh, on the okay. screen as we're talking. I didn't know how all that was done. No, oh, he does all that. They, they do wonderful things with the stuff that I don't understand. Do you make us look good? That's right. He does. He does. <laughs> Car Carol, 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 you, you, you always look good. Yeah, they have to, they have to, you, you are something else. They, they, have, they have to do extra work.